Now when you're working on your document and you put a lot of time into it, you want to make sure you save your work and we'll go over how to save your document. But in short, on the quick access toolbar, you've got the save button, click on it, it'll want to save it. And when it saves it, if this is the first time that you're saving your document, it'll ask you two questions. Where do you want to save it? And what name do you want to give this document? Because remember, the generic name is going to be, well, Doc4, or you can see it up in the title bar up here, Document4. And notice that by default, you can look up here in the address bar, it's saving it in the Documents folder, which is in the Libraries folder. I mean, what the, where in the heck is that? I mean, if I'm new to the operating system, I don't know. But I can go ahead and change the default and say that I want to save all my documents to, let's say, my desktop. I mean, anytime you turn on your computer, the first place you go to is your desktop, right? You can save it to your desktop or set the default to save in a folder if you want to create a folder and call it my spiffy folder. So to change the uh, save default location, let me click cancel. Come up here, click on the file tab, go down to options, and then come up here and click on the save tab. And then come over here and you can see the uh, default file location. And it's in the save documents section. So what's the default location when it comes to saving your documents? Do you want it to be in the documents folder? No. Let me go ahead and click browse and say that I want to save it to my desktop. And if I come over here in the navigation pane, go ahead and select desktop, and then click OK, and it updates the address here to save it on my desktop. So when I click OK, and I click Save again, voila, it goes right to the desktop. It doesn't take me to that Documents folder, OK? Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.